We are just a few hours from an event that will be live on Twitter with Elon Musk, where Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to announce his candidacy for the Republican nomination for president in 2024. And uh, we're going to discuss that now with our guests for today, policy analyst and Project 21 member Donna Jackson and ambassador for America First Policy Institute, Newsmax contributor and retired gunnery sergeant, U.S. Marine Corps, Jesse Jane Duff. Uh, Jesse Jane, we'll start with you. Uh, what do you expect from the governor tonight? Well, this is basically a Hollywood version of making an announcement. I had to agree with Bruce Laval. He's taking kind of a shortcut. You know, are we scared that we can't generate the audience? Are we scared that we don't have enough supporters? You know, we're making this a flash bang introduction, but at the same time, you have to be able to touch the people. You have to engage with the people. And I heard one of the guests that was on earlier supporting Ron DeSantis you know what shocks me is a lot of these people were on the payroll with the Trump campaign. They've been on payrolls for various campaigns. They're always on a payroll. I am somebody that was on the Trump campaign, never was on a payroll. So honestly, I look at often where the dollars are going to the people that claim that they have this undying support for Ron DeSantis. Let me ask you, are you making a check off of that campaign? I have no problem with people making money to sustain themselves, but that authentic grassroots support is what generates the enthusiasm that Americans understand and resonate with. I'm still behind Donald Trump because he's the one that paved the way for all of these cats to get on that ticket. I love the diversity of our ticket. It shows that we have massive ideas. We have a lot of enthusiasm. But at the end of the day, Donald Trump is the only one that has the record that none of them can even come close to touch. Uh, and Donna, I wanted to ask you about the idea of uh, doing this with Elon Musk, uh, doing it on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, Katrina was showing how to access it. Uh, until today, I didn't know how to go it's to Twitter difficult. Spaces. Yes. And some <laughs> I people, didn't either. Yeah, some people are criticizing that. Others saying, well, maybe it's a great idea. What are your thoughts? Well, well, I think he's doing it to give the perception that he's endorsed by Elon Musk. But I'll say this. Healthy competition is always good. Whoever we get in office needs to be a fighter, and the fight starts right now. So what we're going to see is our candidate, whoever that ends up being, being a more conservative person, realizing that they have to represent all of America, fight against the work woke agenda, and not get along to go along like so many of our uh, conservative members right now. We want a winner, and that winner is not afraid of any challenges they meet. So I'm glad to see more competition because it only strengthens that person's resolve and yeah. being able to deal with the fight he's going to when he gets to Capitol Hill. And that's one of the rationales of having right. such a long process. They say, why is it? Well, if you can get through that, you can get through a lot. Yeah. That's right. All right, Donna and Jesse, great to talk to you as always. Thank you.